Hi, all the signs of the zodiac. I'm Pam, and welcome to your psychic crystal reading for the new moon in Virgo, August 30th, 2019. As always, I'm going to look into my crystal and give you predictions and messages from my spirit guides that your sign may experience from the energies of this new moon in Virgo. I'm going to read these by the elements. The four elements are earth, water, fire, and air. The earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. The water signs are Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. The fire signs are Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. And the air signs are Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So I'm going to start first with the earth signs. Keep in mind these messages, the predictions are going to last two weeks or up to 30 days. You know, some of you earth signs, this is going to be really uh, kind of like a big time or a good time for you to celebrate, to celebrate something. It's good. You're going to feel like you have the wind in your sails, you know, the wind beneath your wings kind of feeling. Some of you earth signs are going to be inspired to bust out and do something different. Step out of your normal pattern of behavior. Change it up. Change what you're wearing. Change what you're doing. Change where you go. Change the food that you eat. Any kind of changes is going to really inspire you to break out and do things differently. It's like, I feel like this moon is giving some of you earth signs an inkling of some things to come, like a foreshadowing. So, but it's good things. It's exciting things. So you may get this feeling of anticipation, of excitement, or you may start to hear some positive news through the grapevine that's not confirmed yet. Could even be like something that's building to a surprise. This is coming for some of you earth signs. Some of you could either reignite an old love affair again, like reignite it to start again, or you could have it out with somebody that you've been in a love relationship or love affair with for a long time. It's like one or the other. Some of you are going to be seeking out some kind of advancement and there is promise of advancement. So if, if you're an earth sign where at your place of business, some new jobs are opening up and becoming available or promotions or things you want to do, I feel you are going to apply for them or you're going to hear that they're opening up and you're going to start working towards that goal. Um, you could, this could even be like getting a new job also. Some of you earth signs are going to start to backtrack from the energy of this new moon in Virgo and you're going to go over old things that you did. Like maybe it's reports you had to hand in for work. Maybe it's things you repaired in the home. Uh, maybe it's paperwork or wills or documents. Uh, maybe it's like filing systems or like, but going over work and going over things that were already done, maybe correcting mistakes or sprucing things up, but like reviewing and going over things. Some of you earth signs are going to begin to see somebody new. A new love relationship will come in. And even if you're not seeing them right away in the next two weeks or the next 30 days as a romance, you could start hanging out with them as a friend or working with them on some project, but it could very well lead towards romance a little further out down the line. The cautions here for you earth signs are don't overspend and don't overcommit yourself. Don't overpromise things. Don't overextend yourself with the energy of this moon because I feel like you're going to be really, really inspired and like psyched and like, woo, like the, you know, let the good times roll and, you know, and all that. But you got to, you know, temper it down. <laughs> Don't you hate when somebody comes in and tells you something like that that you don't want to hear? Sorry, Earth Signs. 
<laughs> you can do exactly what you want. I'm not making you do anything. I'm just giving you the message. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the element of water. This will be Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Some of you water signs are going to be brushing up on your knowledge, brushing up on your skills, brushing up on your tactics. So if this means taking new classes, reading some things online, um, getting out old textbooks or, you know, whatever, whatever will help you brush up on things. You, many of you earth signs, I see this old fashioned girl with a bonnet on in the crystal. Many of you earth signs are going to be questioning everything. If your boss is telling you stuff, you're going to be questioning it. If your lover, your boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, whatever is telling you stuff, you're going to be questioning it. If, uh, I don't know, whoever is telling you stuff, you're going to be questioning everything for some reason. I don't know water signs. You're going to be really like, you're going to be question. I laugh because my younger son is a, is a Pisces and he's always Mr. Question. <laughs> so I guess he's going to be extra Mr. Question. Some of you could be taking out, uh, like, um, renting a vacation home, purchasing, buying into a timeshare, uh, working out deals with clubs, groups, and organizations about things and information that can be shared with each other. Um, also, some of you water signs are going to be demanding a little bit, and you're going to be like, I want facts and figures on my desk right now. That's what I hear you saying. Or I want facts and figures about that. If you're getting any estimates, if you're, uh, you're a boss, uh, doesn't matter. Well, whoever you are, I get, I want facts and figures about this. Any claims that are being made to you, like this is this, this is that, you want facts and figures to back it up. I feel that some of you water signs are, you're really getting focused on wholesome eating, or your appetite is going to be really increasing. But I feel like, I feel both things are happening. I feel like you're going to be really hungry and you're going to want to eat. But I feel you're going to be guided to eat healthful foods and not just fill up with, you know, hollow calories and junk. Um, so being really hungry and eating healthy comes up for some of you water signs. Some of you water signs are going to be really stubborn and you're going to be sticking to your guns and nobody's going to be able to change your mind. Like, so if somebody comes up to you in your family or at work or your friends and they're like, no, no, water sign, uh, you know, uh, you need to change your thinking about that. You're going to be like, no, nope, this is the way it's going to go down. Some of you water signs are going to have to entertain maybe a boss, maybe clients, or friends or relatives out of town. But I feel like you want, some of you want to do it, but it also comes up like some of you may have to do it. Word of caution for you water signs with the energy of this Virgo new moon. Uh, don't over, don't speak too much. Don't put your foot in your mouth. Watch what you're saying. You may be giving away too much information. Or don't be, too, and also don't be too prideful about things because you may actually hurt somebody's feelings that's trying to be generous to you or caring for you or needs your love or support. And um, you might be too prideful in some way. So you'll have to see how that plays out, water signs. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the element of fire. This will be Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You fire signs are going to be up in arms with things to do. Busy, busy, busy. I feel like you're not going to have enough time in the day over the course of the next two weeks up to 30 days. Some of you fire signs are going to be linking up with some people you haven't seen in a while from the past. I, I don't necessarily feel like this is an ex-love. This feels more to me like hanging out with friends you haven't seen in a while. Could be relatives still. 
Some of you fire signs that thought you stopped something you weren't ever going to do again, you start it again. It could be a diet uh, program or exercise regime. Uh, maybe you stopped eating meat and you thought, I'm never doing that again. You may start eating meat again, or uh, maybe you were a vegetarian and you, you stopped that and now you're going to start it again. I don't know, but you're, there's definitely... Hopefully it's not like something like you quit smoking and you're going to start smoking again or, you know, some something that maybe could be detrimental to your health. Uh, but I get something that you stopped, you're going to start it again from the energy of this Virgo new moon on August 30th, 2019. Some of you fire signs are going to get answers to questions that you thought you were never going to get the answers to or objects that you thought were lost and out in the ethers that you thought you were never going to see them again, they could turn up. So answers to questions that you never thought you would get answers to and or items that you thought were lost you were never going to see again show up. Some of you are going to start to live a whole new lifestyle and also maybe getting amped up and ready to travel you fire signs. That's the case for some of you. If you are a fire sign that is waiting on an appraisal of something, it's going to come through like really high, which will be good for you. I mean, this could be something you're selling. It could be a house. Um, or let's put it this way. It's going to come through the way you want it to. If you want the number to be low and it's something you're buying, it will be low. If you wanted something appraised and you, you're selling it and you need it to be high, then it's going to come in high because this is coming in favorable for you, this appraisal. I do feel that some of you fire signs, this one was a little tricky to read, are going to have some things like come through for you that you were waiting for. If you were waiting for a tax refund or you were waiting for a visa, or a permit, or an adoption to go through, uh, whatever, something you've been waiting for, um, a loan, like you applied for a mortgage, or a loan, or a grant, something's coming through for you, fire signs, from the energy of this Virgo new moon on August 30th. Be cautious of, like, negativity. Um, don't judge two people too harshly. Uh, during this time frame of two weeks to 30 days. Let your kindness really shine through. Because you might have a tendency, some of the fire signs, to be like disapproving of things that other people are doing. Maybe a little judgy, a little disapproving. I'm not saying you're that way all the time. I'm saying this is what's coming up here with this Virgo new moon on August 30th, 2019, energy uh, on August 30th. Now, keep in mind, as I say, these energies can last two weeks or they can go out 30 days. So now I'm going to look into the element of air. This will be Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. I feel that many of the air signs are going to feel like stumbling blocks that were created you're either going to start to climb over them or go around them or the stumbling blocks will start to like dissipate. Any one of those three possibilities here. Some of you air signs are going to be like, you know what? Whoa, get out of my way. I'm getting everything taken care of. What do you need me to do? I got to fix this. You want me to fix that? I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Getting the rugs clean. Uh, I'm uh, painting the house. Uh, I'm getting all my documents in order, I'm redoing my uh, furniture, whatever. You're going to be like taking care of everything. Some of you air signs are going to see things clearly like never before. You may have gotten that in an earlier, uh, maybe on the full moon. I'm not so sure, but I feel like I've heard that for you before. But some of you air signs are going to see things, situations, and people clearly, more clearly than you ever have before. I feel like some of you air signs are going to feel like you need to polish up 
on either your behavior, your appearance, your knowledge, uh, could even be aesthetic things in your environment. But I, I feel like it's more stuff to do with directly with you personally. Like, I got to polish this up. I got to polish my looks up. I got to polish my, my attitude up. I got to polish my knowledge up. That comes up for some of you air signs from the energy of this Virgo new moon on August 30th, 2019. I see some of you air signs sealing the deal, signing your name on a dotted line, finalizing something. It could be a contract to purchase something. It could be a contract to do some kind of gig or work or to purchase something, uh, but sealing the deal. And many of you, it will involve signing your name to something. Some of you air signs are going to benefit because you're going to be talking to important people that are going to help you get things set in motion or get things organized or get like, I feel like it's official people. You could be talking to doctors, lawyers, government officials or agencies. I don't know, but like, but it's to get something lined up, set up, in order. Uh, you got a lot of organizational stuff, maybe because it's Virgo. <laughs> I don't know. I'm an air sign. I, sometimes I like organization, but I don't know if I like it to this degree, but it really sounds like uh, I do, but let's kick it up for the air signs. Some of you air signs are going to feel like you're starting out on a whole new trajectory in life or like um, a whole new, a whole new life, like almost like starting over again. So maybe you got divorced and now you feel, well, I'm starting my life over again as a single person, or maybe you had some illness and then you had surgery or some kind of illness and you recovered from it and you feel like you're starting out uh, as a whole new person again. I don't know. There's something, there's something that's making you feel this way. Maybe you quit your job or career and you're starting out on a whole new job or at a whole new career and it's making you feel like you're, or you moved and you feel like you're starting your life uh, anew all over again. That comes up here for you air signs. Word of caution to the air signs. Don't overwork yourself. Don't overwork yourself. And be polite and consistent. Don't overwork yourself. Be polite to people and be consistent in your actions and, you know, your words, words and deeds. So I hope these messages were of help to you all. And I hope they made sense. As always, thank you so much for watching. And please like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you're interested, you can get any of the special videos I've recorded for my Vimeo On Demand channel for download and purchase by clicking on any one of the three links below this video and they will take you to those videos on Vimeo. The first video series I have listed below is the psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac where I look into my crystal and I'm going to give you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for your sign for the month of September 2019. If you're interested, that link is below. The next link below this video is the beginnings and endings, psychic tarot and crystal readings from the effects of the two July eclipses. I use two different tarot decks, one tarot deck to tell you what's ending in your life from the eclipses, which is the Morgan Greer tarot deck. And then I used the uh, Hanson Roberts tarot deck. I pulled three cards from each, three cards from the Hanson Roberts tarot deck to tell you what's beginning in your life from the effects of those eclipses. And then I looked in the crystal to round it out, what's beginning and what's ending. And those predictions I thought were going to go up to six months out, but the guides surprised me. Uh, many of those predictions went out as far as April in, and maybe even further in 2020. So you might want to check those out. Also, if you're interested, another link I have below this video is the Mid-Year Love and Romance Psychic Tarot Update for 2019 for each sign of the Zodiac. 
I thought those predictions were going to go out till the end of this year of 2019 at the end of December, but many of them went out into March, April, and I think some even went out to May in 2020. So if you're curious to see what's coming up and what my guides had to say about your love life, love and romance, you might want to check those out. And if you would like to get more predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here on YouTube, you can follow me on my social media outlets, my The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Psychic Pastry Chef LLC on Facebook and my Instagram account, The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell. In those places, I pull tarot cards, oracle cards, animal oracle cards, gemstone crystals. I use my crystal also, and I post psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides. And it's not just for the day that I write those out. Many times, I just did one today, a psychic crystal reading, and they were talking about up to four weeks out the prediction they were giving. And a part of the prediction even went out as far as six months. So you're going to get information and messages there that might be helpful to you. I get comments all the time. This resonates with me. This is making sense to me. I understand what your guides are saying here. You may feel that way too. So you might want to check them out. And if you like to see videos of people cook and bake, well, in this case, bake for now anyway, um, you can watch my episodes of The Psychic Pastry Chef on this channel. I post psychic predictions and messages for each sign of the zodiac while I'm baking, decorating, and making cakes, desserts, and pastries that you can make. I show you how to make them, bake them, decorate them, and I'm giving you psychic predictions for the zodiac signs while I'm doing so. I grew up watching Graham Kerr, The Galloping Gourmet. Uh, Julia Child and Jacques Pepin. They were my favorites. And then I went on, as I graduated uh, high school, I went on to the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York, and got a degree in culinary arts. And then all throughout it, the psychic thing was always happening. So I married the two together. And if you like to see what I have to do there and see if it's of interest to you, please check those videos out as well. So I hope you have absolutely fantastic blessings from this Virgo new moon and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.